Hello babes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kay and I own Poppy Jane. I recently changed the name of my store from Book Society Poppy Jane after seven years, which is absolutely insane to me. I'm still getting used to it, I know. Uh, so anyways, I like to talk all things behind the scenes, boutique and all the business things with the boutique industry. So if that is you, keep on watching. Today we are going to be talking about live selling. At the beginning of this year, in January, I kind of stopped live selling altogether. It is now September and I don't think I've gone live since, honestly. I used to love going live so much and I felt like the engagement was there, but then I felt like it was kind of like an oversaturated market. I felt like everyone was doing it. Um, people were going live for too long and people didn't want to sit there, which is what I thought. I kind of stopped going live, like I said, all throughout the year. And most recently, I was testing out this new platform called Selmo, and I'm gonna be talking all about it. But when I went live, I was truly, I didn't even like hype it up or anything. I was just kind of testing out this platform. And I was truly shocked to see how many people were getting on my live. And I put on like three products and got a few sales. So maybe I'm wrong. I think lives were, got so popular, kind of so oversaturated, people stopped doing them, AKA me. And now I feel like it might be that niche that I want to get back into. So now I'm like motivated, I feel like to go live again this week or a few times this month. Um, even if it's on Instagram, I used to be all in on doing Facebook lives a lot, but I also think that there is a really big opportunity on Instagram as well. Rewind back to when I was going live, I was using a live selling platform instead of manually invoicing, which was such a game changer, but that unsaid platform has made a lot of changes and I felt like wasn't really going in the exact right direction or right direction. So I decided to try a new one. This one is, I think a little bit newer to the United States market, but they asked me to test it out for them. I'm gonna walk you through the platform and I will let you know my overall thoughts at the end. All right, you guys, this is going to be my little walkthrough of Selmo. You have your dashboard here and then um, I'm gonna skip over to products, but I will say one thing, they are going to be integrated with Shopify. They are not quite yet. I wasn't able to get my uh, shop connected with Selmo yet because the app is still under review, but just know that once that app gets approved, I feel like this is going to be an absolute game changer. However, Either way, this was super user-friendly. So first of all, I'm going to start off with products because if you are going to um, connect your store with Selmo, you would wanna scroll down to the bottom here in settings and um, connect it to Shopify and add it as an app on the back of Shopify. But since we can't do that quite yet, I'm going to go to products here and I'm gonna show you how I kind of added in my products. So I wanted to do a little live sale testeroo because it's been a second since I went live, okay? So testing this out and it was funny, I told some of my customers, I'm like, look, I'll put a few things on sale for you guys. Um, if you hop on this live with me and uh, just kind of bear with me because it was a new platform and I feel like there is always like that learning curve. Um, however, I actually went on there and I was like, okay, this is pretty easy. So before I went live, I added five products here to my to my products. Now, don't mind me because I like put the code as like 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, or 105. Missed 104, don't know why. Um, but anyways, so I um, added these few things in. So I added, I just copied and pasted over the product name, the description, um, the price, and then like the cross out price. So like basically the original price if you want that to show, but I was doing almost like a 50% off type of deal. So I wanted to do that. I put in a main photo there and then um, I put in the product code. So with these lives in the basic Selmo plan, which is only, I believe $99 a month, which is, I'll get to that, but that's really good, except, especially if they're not gonna be taking a chunk of your sales. Um, so with the products, you would comment instead of like sold 100, it would be Selmo 100. That's what the like, 
automated word is for the customer. So it's like Selma 100, Selma 101, small, whatever your product code is. Now, if you do get the pro, you are able to switch this up. So if I wanted mine to be like, poppy like poppy 100 small or whatever instead of saying sold which i think is really cool but anyways so we've got the product code there you could put that as like one two three i don't know why i'm just used to doing like the hundreds i don't know don't ask and then you can do the category i did not do the category and then it looks like they also do have a mobile app as well and then for the variants it was very easy i just did like my variants and the quantities that i had left in this in this product so that was really easy i clicked save it probably took me literally a minute to just copy this over from my shopify and that's the other thing too like if you are just starting out which i'm gonna get into at the end i feel like this is a really great way to start out like live selling or just to start out your boutique in general so i put all my products in there and then the cool thing is, is in the settings you just go ahead and you connect it to your facebook account and you don't even need to like sit here and be like okay these products need to link to this video it just all like it's just a huge system that knows that on any of your content on Facebook, if someone comments Selmo 100 small, then it's going to connect to this and know that it will be uh, taken out of your inventory. So I thought that was really cool. So literally all I did was like create the products that I want. I knew I wanted to go live with. I went live over on Facebook. So I'll show you my little live sale here. I was behind my counter and uh people would just comment selmo 102 medium and then the coolest part about this entire system which is why i wanted to show it to you guys is because i feel like this is so much easier than the other live selling platforms for the customer especially so all they do is once they comment it literally sends them a link right to their messenger to check out so number one they're not really leaving facebook they will have to like kind of click on the link but it's just gonna like open a tab for them so they don't really have to like leave the platform in order to be like, okay, I'm gonna go create a whole account and then go check out. It's just one thing. It just takes you right to the checkout, which I feel like is great for a good conversion rate. You can also do things like tell them that they only have like two hours to check out and put a timer and things like that. So that is what really got me interested in this live selling platform is just because it was like, as soon as they commented it, bing, they get a message in their messenger in their Facebook messenger, and then they can go ahead and check out right there. It was as simple as that. That is how um, my live went. So then you can click under your orders and then the order will show up here. I don't wanna like show too much like customer information or anything like that, but super simple. You could see if they paid and whatnot as well. Now there's also the typical live um, overlay, like how you can put uh, the sizes and uh, the product code and all of that kind of stuff, which is really nice. That is available in the pro function. And then also if you don't wanna upload your products ahead of time, let's say you um, are going kind of like through your storefront and you're like, hey, like look at all the things that are in my store and someone's like, ooh, let me see that romper. And you're like, okay, cool. Like, let me pull it for you. Then you can just add that and you can like hit like romper, give the price, like type in the price under broadcast, like this is under the broadcast, type in the price, type in the customer. And then after the live is over with, you already have all that information, like kind of like scoped out and typed out for you right there. And then at the end, you can just go ahead and click send customer. And then all the customers are going to get a message at the same time. So it's just a different way of doing it. You could do it either way. Okay, so that is an overview of the back of Selmo. And I want to kind of give you my thoughts on it. So for someone who, again, that like that live sale was so easy for me, like just like having like, like those five products, if you want a few things at a time, um, just to put on there. And then also, um, if you are just starting out, this is such a good way to not have to create a Shopify and all of this other kind of stuff. Like truly, if you want to start a boutique tomorrow and you have like five things in inventory, 10 things in inventory, even 20, whatever it is, you can upload these right here and then you are able to go live on Facebook and have that all automated very, very quickly which I think is really, really nice. And then the other two pros that I absolutely love about this is that the customer gets the message right away. There's no creating an account or anything like that, but you're still getting that customer information, which is really, really nice. Number two is that it is only $99 a month. Now, that might seem a little bit high because you're like another monthly cost. However, they do not take a percentage of your sales. So it's literally just $99 a month. 
I can tell you right now that I paid way more than that in um, like commission to other platforms in the past with percentages of my sale. $99 is absolutely nothing. So if that makes sense for your business, I definitely think this is a great way. If you want to try out Selmo now, you can try it for free with the link in the description. Okay. Also just like live sales in general, can we talk about them? Because again, like I said, I stopped doing them and it's funny because my customers were like, oh my God, like I haven't seen like I haven't been on one of your lives in so long. I'm like, that's because I didn't haven't done them in so long. Um, but it was nice to like reconnect with my customers. And although sometimes lives can be a lot of work, I first of all, I didn't feel like this was a lot of work setting it up. But once I got on there and started like talking to my customers, I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys, this is what it's all about. Like I really was missing that customer like connection and things like that. And I don't know, I think that I'm gonna try to incorporate going live on Facebook and even Instagram in the next coming months um, for the holidays, because I think it's a great way for people to kind of like impulse buy gifts and like different outfits for the holidays when you're styling them and things like that. I will say that I was always a Facebook live girly. I know a lot of like the younger generation is like all about going live on Instagram. And let's not even get started with TikTok. That's a whole other thing. Um, but just as far as Facebook and Instagram go, I feel like I kind of want to try Instagram again because I was always like a Facebook girl, go live on Facebook, go live on Facebook. But just in my recent, um, the recent like year or two, I've been focusing a lot more on Instagram myself versus back when I was going live on Facebook so much, I was posting on Facebook organically so much. And now I feel like it's the opposite. I'm posting on Instagram so much. And so I am curious to see because I truly never like tried to like hype up a live sale on Instagram and go live on Instagram. So I am kind of curious to see like how that would go for me. Maybe I'll do a video with how that really does if I like how it goes, if I do hype up the uh, live sale on Instagram and see if people join it. Maybe if you, even if it's just like a clear out sale of some clearance items or something like that. So if you follow me on Instagram, you can look out for that. But uh, also I should mention too that Selma does integrate with Instagram. Let me know what you guys wanna see in some upcoming content. I definitely have a lot of ideas, especially with this whole name change thing and some crazy stories. So if you missed my last video, we have been Vogue Society for the past seven years and we literally switched our name to Poppy Jane after my grandparents like two weeks ago now and oh my gosh I have been putting this off for years just because I knew it was going to be such a tough transition and like so much work that and money like going into it and it's honestly like what I expected I don't think it's like harder or any easier than what I expected but it is a lot but I do just keep thinking like once the end of the year comes because that's kind of like my whole plan is by the end of the year, this is all gonna be over with. I'm gonna be completely trans transitioned over to the next name with um, bags and signs and everything online. So I just know that that time is coming. So uh, stay tuned for all the stories with that. But thank you guys so much for joining me today um, on this review of Selmo. Let me know what you guys think or if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Bye.